Hello everyone and welcome back again to another Foxtech video. Today we're gonna talk about how to uninstall apps on your iPhone without actually deleting them. And this might sound a bit contradictory, but what we're talking about is likely a feature called offloading apps. So let's dive in and see how this can help you manage your storage and keep your data safe. At first, let's understand what offloading apps actually means. Offloading an app allows you to remove the app itself, which frees up the space the app was using while keeping all of the app's data on your device. This means that next time you reinstall the app, all your data will be there as if you never removed the app. It is a great way to save space without losing important information. For example, let's say you have a video editing app like CapCut with several imported videos and clips you're working on. When you go to the iPhone storage section in your settings and find CapCut, you notice two different sizes, the size of the actual app and the size of the files related to that app. If you decide to offload CapCut, the app itself will be removed, freeing up the space. However, all your imported clips and project files will remain on your device. When you reinstall CapCut, you can pick up right where you left off without missing any second. This offloading feature is incredibly useful for temporarily freeing up space, especially if you're in a pinch and need to make room quickly. Whether it's for a large software update or you need to download some new app temporarily, offloading your apps allows you to manage your storage very efficiently while it still keeps your important data. Another way to manage app usage without deleting them is by using the app limits feature within a screen time. This feature lets you set time limits for specific apps, helping you manage your usage and staying focused. For instance, you can set a limit for, I mean, specific app and let's say you want to only use it for an hour a day. Once you reach that limit, the app will be inaccessible until the next day. While this doesn't free up the storage, it helps you control the app usage and technically it could be considered to like un uninstalling the app or something, but you know, you get my point. So that's going to be about it for today. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it did, make sure to hit the thumbs up, but don't forget to subscribe to Foxtech for more tech videos in the future.